1989, I was the Southeast Asia picture editor for Associated Press. So my job was to cover most of the Southern uh, Asian countries. But this was such a big story that the AP headquarters decided to pull me in to help out on the story. At the time, it was incredible because you have thousands and thousands of people uh, wanting democracy in a communist country, one of the biggest, com the, the biggest communist country probably in the world. And uh, so I knew that uh, that combination could uh, be a powder keg. I would have a morning routine. I would get up early in the morning, uh, and I would pedal a bicycle to the uh, Tiananmen Square. And it was quite amazing because the sun was rising by the time I got there. And there was the goddess of democracy, which is basically a replica of the Statue of Liberty. And it's facing directly across the street of the Forbidden City, where they had the large Mao portrait, Chairman Mao uh, portrait. So you had this democracy facing off with cap, uh, communism that was quite striking. And I started to take a photograph and a guy walks out with shopping bags and I'm thinking to myself, you know, this guy's going to mess up my photograph. And because I was whacked out, I mean, I really was whacked out, I wasn't thinking clearly. So I just watched him and waited, but they didn't shoot him. So I thought, you know, I need a closer shot. So I went to the back and grabbed another lens, which doubled the focal length to an 800 millimeter. I took three pictures until I noticed that the shutter was um, a 30th of a second which was a disaster. And by the time I figured out what happened, the man was swept away and, uh, and I just really thought I lost the photo. I, I still don't understand why the government refuses to admit what happened because the United States and other European countries have made mistakes through history and they've reconciled those problems. And, uh, and they've moved forward. And I think that's time for China to move forward and just come clean on what happened, report to the um, family members what happened to their loved ones so that they can put this to rest. And uh, I think that's the right, decent thing to do. It's the, the setup, so we're just trying to do the best we can. Tomorrow's Saturday. And they can hear me talk about uh, some of the things that uh, happened in Tiananmen Square. Going to come and speak as well. Also, we have the daughter of the...